All right, we're doing a special call today. This is a Meet Your EXP support team. You see a lot of faces on the screen. Some of these people are here to ask questions, and some of these people are here because they are part of your support team. What the heck does that mean? That means that sometimes you hear the terms upline, sometimes you hear the term organization, some people say they're my business partners, some people say these are my coaches, my mentors, some people just say, hey, this is my support system. And there's a ton of support here in terms of either selling more houses or attracting agents to eXp. And uh, a lot of you guys probably know your direct sponsor, I would imagine, right? You know who your direct sponsor is to eXp, but you might not know your sponsor sponsor. You might not know your sponsor sponsor sponsor. And all of these people are vested in your success. So in case you don't know me, I'm Jesse Zagorski from San Diego. And what my plan is, I'm gonna have each of the people that, everyone on this call is probably connected to at least one, two, three, if not all seven people that we're gonna have talked today um, in some way, shape or form. Um, yep, and if you wanna be on camera and ask some questions, let's see here, I've got a, uh, a note here. I think I already did, uh, Christine. No, Mel's, Mel's texting me, she's saying she, she hasn't been invited as a panelist. Okay, uh, let's see here. If anybody, if, if, let's see, I'll find her here, raise her hand, there we go. Cool, done. All right, there's Brent Gov. we got everyone here. So we're gonna do these slightly out of order because we're, so in order to get seven amazing people on the same Zoom call at the same time, is kind of like a stroke of lightning, magic, genius, and I don't even know how, luck, how it happened, but everyone was available at the same time here at the same place. Um, Let's see. Rosie, you're already as Rosie said, add me as a panelist. Where'd you go, Rosie? You were here on camera. Did we lose Rosie? I don't know. But Brent Gove is on. He's muted though. We can't hear you. Brent, turn your phone sideways first of all, and then you can unmute yourself too. Actually, can you hear me now? I can. Yeah. So so well, we're what, gonna go ahead, what's Brent. The meeting ID number. I want to switch to my laptop. I'm on my phone. What's the meeting ID number? You want me to, it is, uh, to see, it's, it's a webinar. Just go to aafaststart.com. Yep. Oh, uh, it's not Zoom. It's, it, yeah, I'm it, looking for it. It'll take you right there. Yeah, is it, do you know where the meeting ID number is, Golden? Uh, there, I don't see one on, the, on this meeting. Just go to aa, right. just type in aafaststart.com. Like agent attraction fast start. Yep. It'll cool. take you right to this, it'll so take while you right he's to room. while he's switching over anyway, we're gonna we're gonna do this out of order. I want to start with Rick Jiha because Rick does have another appointment right after this, and uh, Rick is an amazing person. So I want to have each of your EXP support team talk for just a minute or two about really what their superpowers are. Rick has been a coach for years. <laughs> he's sold homes. He's owned brokerage. So Rick, I'm gonna take you off mute. Just tell everybody a little bit about yourself, a couple minutes, and then um, we'll just kind of go through each person. Then I know you gotta jump off. If everyone else has time to stick around, we'll answer questions, and that's the format of the call today. Go for it, Rick. Thank you very much for inviting me on, and thank you for being willing to let me go first so I can jump back off. I just wanna say I see a lot of amazing people on here, and I imagine, because I don't know how to use Zoom very well, that you have a bunch of people that are not on here that are on the call. But really quickly, two weeks from now, I celebrate my 40th year selling houses. Um, I uh, lost a fortune, uh, well, all of my fortune by owning nine Keller Williams Realty franchises during the downturn in the marketplace and um, came out ready to just build my team and uh, make a difference for myself finally so that I could actually, I'm 62 now, when Brent approached me about EXP, I was 59. and um, really looked at it as a way to rebuild something for myself and get me quicker to uh, more quickly to some sort of retirement. It's been amazing. What my superpower is, is um, I worked with a coach. I paid him $40,000 to work with me for six months. And he taught me something very deep and that changed my life. And he said, everybody grows up wounded and they're wounded by different people and for different reasons. And usually it's about decisions you made about yourself. Um, he said something after that that was amazing to me. He said, from your deepest wound comes your greatest gift. So everybody on here has a great gift. And I love that, Jesse, you call it a superpower. Uh, I would call my superpower in being able to talk to you personally and help you figure out how to get where you truly want to go. Um, the guy that owns the coaching company I works for uh, talks about peeling back the onion. And I, I feel like I'm really good at that. Um, Two things I want to say is that most of you at this level on this 
on this uh, platform today understand behavioral styles. Or what you may not know about behavioral styles is all four behavioral styles do not behaviorally, meaning naturally, like to lead generate. And a bigger deal is all four behavioral styles not, do not like to naturally or behaviorally ask for support or help. None of them. So what that teaches you is the two most amazing things that we need people to do. When I had nine franchises with a thousand agents in them, what was I worried about? I need them to lead generate. I need them to reach out and ask for help when they need it. They don't do it. It's the same with building an organization in EXP. I want people to lead generate and I want, it to do, I want them to do it in a way that helps them be as comfortable with an uncomfortable process as it can be. And I want them to reach out for help. Every time I do a Zoom class, I offer up my cell phone and I say, call me if you need me. I did it for 200 Remax agents last week. Not one person has called me or texted me. I gave them my freaking cell phone, all right? So this group, you get special dispensation. I will move stuff aside to help you. I will stay up or get up early to help you. I'll fly when, when coronavirus stuff's over and, and teach in your area and help you recruit in your area. Just ask. That's my superpower. God bless you for putting this together, Jesse. I love it. And that was the thing I was going to say, Rick, is every single person who's going to talk today will go out of their way to help you. And I know that I can say this. I mean, we have a lot of people on this and probably a lot of people will watch the recording later. I know a lot of people won't actually take him up on it. But if you call Rick, he will help you. He will go out of his way to do anything he can to help you sell more homes, attract agents, whatever it is. And he is an amazing coach. So thank you, Rick. Appreciate it. I hope to see you guys all soon in person. I got to jump and uh, take care. Bye -bye. Yeah. All right. Now, going back to, the, uh, to our, the, the proper order, if we're going down an organization chart, and this isn't an order of importance, this is just who joined EXP first. That's literally all it was. But this gentleman happens to be pretty darn impressive. He's looking around like, are you talking about me? It is. It's, so I'm going to go next to Brent Gove, because probably none of us would be here if it wasn't for Brent Gove. You've all probably seen many of his webinars, including uh, The Model Explained, which is probably one of the most used tool for attracting agents to eXp. But he also sold lots and lots of homes and ran an amazing team, which he still runs and is just a wealth of knowledge. So Brent, you want to give a couple minutes here? Absolutely. Thank you, Jesse. And hello, everybody. So I think you asked me to share my superpower. So I'm going to do it. It's a little crazy. And uh, you guys might be a little like freaked out by this, but come here, come over here. This is my superpower. This is my dad, Jim Gove. He is awesome. So I paid him to say that. That is. He's awesome. <laughs> Love you, dad. So uh, we were, by the way, uh, we were, I was born in San Diego, grew up in Chula Vista with David Golden. And so we are SoCal babies, moved up here to Northern California. But my dad truly is my superpower. He's been my biggest, uh, uh, you know, cheering me on and telling me I'm going to do great things with my life. I think that's key. Uh, but it, to get down to something besides well, I've got a great dad, which is amazing. I realize how fortunate I am. I don't, I don't say that mockingly, but something maybe that you can use um, uh, besides that is, is I think my superpower would be a complete and total willingness to fail wildly and with gusto and to do it quickly and often and as fast as I can to, um, I mean, I'm the biggest face planner there is. I mean, just boom, you know, and, and I do a lot of it and I find out what works and what doesn't. And I do more of what does than, than doesn't. And so I would say um, enthusiastically going for it, whether it was door knocking or farming or open houses or the radio. I failed twice on the radio, succeeded the third time. And I ended up getting people calling me and, hey, you can list my home right, 6%, right? Because I was the celebrity on the radio with a really respected station. But it took me three tries to figure that out. So like, maybe my message to everyone is, no matter what you're doing, whether you're trying to build a team, there's my team, uh, the Brent Gove team, Maui 2018, about 60 of us flew out there. I pay for everyone every year. I drop $100,000 on the team trip every year. Um, it's probably five grand an agent, a little over five grand, airfare, convertible BMWs, hotels on the beach. But, um, you know, uh, it's like an insurance policy. I have like zero attrition and 100% retention for my personal sales team. We've been doing over 100 million for a long time up here in Sacramento where prices are 350. They're not that high, but I love my team. But the enthusiasm and the willingness to fail and to do a lot in a short period of time, you just figure it out. And then 
once you figure it out, baby, boom, it's like riding a bike. It's uh, so that's my message, Jesse. I, I don't know how much time I had. Was that okay? Uh, did you want more? Or, you know, you're you're muted too, Jesse. Do that was know? that was perfect. I mean, here's the thing: each one of these people could do a 30 minute to one hour to six hour webinar all by themselves. Real, I mean, really. So, Brent, that I just want people to get a feel for who you are. My, that's my goal: is a feel for who you are, right? If they have someone who's thinking of joining EXP and they want to do a three way call, who you are. If they've got a question and they're like, "Gosh." Who do I go to just to know who has their back and who the support is? Cause there is so much experience, expertise, knowledge in all of the, this crew. So that was perfect, Brent. Awesome. Hey, I'll say one thing. I got interviewed last week. They're doing a, a feature article on me and they're like, at the end of it, they go 10 quick questions. I'll give you three, like favorite food. I go sushi. They go, what could you not live without? I said, golf. I probably should have said my wife and kids, but I said golf, you know? Um, and then they go, if you were to make a movie about your life, what movie star would play you? And I could, I was just like, oh my gosh, I, I was stumped. And then it finally came to me. My wife agreed. She laughed. Fred Flintstone. That would be who would play me if they were to make a movie about my life. Fred Flintstone. He's always getting in trouble with Barney. He's yelling for the dogs. Wilma and Dino, that is me. Anyways, I love you all. Thanks for having me on here today. And uh, I got to bounce too, but that maybe lets you in a little bit of who I'm a golden retriever personality, not a pit bull. I might have a little pit bull in me, but I'm a golden retriever. I love people. So there you go. It that's all I wanted, Brent, was that people know that, like, Ryan just typed in the chat box. I don't know if you saw it, but he said, I thought Brent, Brent Gove was just a myth. No, he's a real person. That's the whole thing is, like, and he know he's kidding, but, like, you guys are real people. We can reach out, talk to you anytime, right? Thumbs up? Yeah. All right. Actually, awesome. I've got about 10 minutes to stick around. I'm going to stick around and hear some more people. I want to listen. All right. Yeah. So, well, well, then I want you to help me ask questions. So, Brent Gove sponsored Rick Jiha. Rick Jiha sponsored this next person, Rosie Rodriguez. So Brent, if you have any questions for Rosie, I'm gonna have you answer Rosie. So Rosie is an amazing person who has mastered multiple streams of income, owned a brokerage, owned a mortgage company, an insurance company, you name it, she's probably owned it and or still owns it. And is just a powerhouse of a, uh, of a business person. I use that word intentionally, Rosie powerhouse. All right, over to you, what's your superpower? Hey guys, awesome. Uh, I think that one of, um, I've been able to build a few businesses uh, in, in real estate, all in real estate, escrow mortgage, you know, uh, owned a KW office. And I think that um, looking at how I have showed up in the relationships and the business relationships or in my teams, I think I'm a really big, um, I think I am the excellent person to talk to about, look, this is what's going on with me and my business. And this is where I want to go. And then as I get to know and learn about you and your goals and your dreams, I'm really good at strategically, you know, giving you different um, business and or marketing and or uh, just seeing the opportunities that maybe you're not looking at. Um, and then just kind of injecting all my knowledge, all my experience, um, all my love, you know, into whatever I can do to help support you. So uh, I've got a very good creative strategic business mind. Um, and I've been in the business for over 24 years. So uh, whatever any of you guys need, you know, I get excited with other people's enthusiasm and excitement and I'm here to support you and like help in any way I can. So I don't know if that helped. It as, is, go as ahead. Pertains to anything, anything that pertains to mortgage, escrow, insurance, uh, investing, I do investing, I do flipping, I've got Airbnbs, like any of those areas in particular, if you're just wanting to talk specifically on business, I can talk about all those areas. And then, again, my superpower really is how to, you know, help you get to point B. I love it. Brent Gove, I put you in charge. Do you have one good question that pops into your head for Rosie? What would you ask Rosie? So Rosie, um, you know, my wife and I adopted a couple of kids recently that lost both their mom and dad. I know you, you lost one of your parents at a young age. Was it your mom or your dad there? I lost both of them by the time I was 15 to illness. Wow. Okay. It was both. Okay. Um, do you, do you think that impacted your desire in life to be successful to, you know, to, I couldn't even imagine, you know, I've got two 13 year olds that lost their mom and dad. It like sucks the oxygen out of the room the permanency of it. Um, and so you, has that impacted your life? Has that propelled you for, forward? What, what, you know, obviously that's a big, big huge. Yeah. My, my father died at 13 with uh, kidney uh, failure and, and, and diabetes. My mother died uh, at 15 um, with uh, cancer. So I saw her 
progressively passed away. Um, I will tell you that that definitely impacted um, me, probably the biggest thing that impacted me in my life. Um, because from that point on, I had to make a decision on how I was going to, you know, live the rest of my life. And um, I adopted an attitude of gratitude. I was very grateful for the great parents that I had. And I also realized that I was on my own, you know, I kind of had to figure things out. And that um, I became very, very resourceful with, um, with, uh, with whatever I had to work with. Um, and then was able to put myself and my brother through USC, Berkeley. Um, having had, you know, sometimes, you know, we are all blessed to have different support systems. When you don't have a support system per se, and you have to kind of rely on yourself, you learn how to figure things out and you learn how to talk to people and you learn how to create out of what, you know, out of nothing. And so I think that, yes, that's definitely how I learned to um, figure things out and how to progress and how to kind of be resilient and, and persistent. And it also gave me a huge and incredible appreciation for life and for people and for the relationships that I have. So anybody who's on my team, you know, I talk to David on a daily basis. I talk to Mike, I talk to Jesse, you know, anybody who's on my team, you know, will tell you that I, I mean, I tell them all the time. I love you guys. And I do, you know, it's very genuine. I value all of my relationships. And so anybody who's interested in engaging in a relationship, I'm open. You know, that's all we have to leave behind is the relationships and the impact we make on people. So. Hey, next week, I do want to set up a Zoom with you and Alyssa and Nolan. Um, they're now 17, you know, but they're still happen within six months and it was like sucking the oxygen out of the room. So thank you. I know you mentioned you willing to talk to them and you're the only one who kind of understands where they are. And so anyways, I'm off topic, but thank you for being you, for being Rosie. Your name is perfect for who you are. You're just a big lover and um, you're awesome. So why did you call uh, David Golden? I think Jesse, that's where we're going next, right? That's where we're going. <laughs> well, you know, I, 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 will, uh, I will tell you, David came into my life uh, during a, a challenging situation in my life when I had, I had uh, my daughter had an illness and he, ended up our, our the line the the universe aligned us and he ended up being a little support system for me he reached out a few years later and he was looking for support and accountability we crossed paths it was basically a way to support each other and um and then i i, I learned about exp and i shared it with him and and it was just like a bomb dropped um <laughs> on his lap i i have to say that he saw this way before I did he had a very clear vision of what was going to happen and I was just there to support him along the way he's amazing one of the biggest um and I'll have to say this Brent Go, Rick Giha, um, David Golden who's coming on some of the people who have the biggest most amazing hearts that I've ever met and so you guys have such an incredible incredible loving group of people and then following David you know Mike's there too so go ahead David Tell us about you. Cool. Hi guys. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's crazy. And you mentioned, you mentioned Brent, Rick, Rosie, and me. And it's like, I, I just, I know we've all, we're all big, big Keller Williams guys. It's kind of interesting. <clears throat> like the four people up here. So first of all, if anybody do ever have a Keller Williams person, you know that your organization is absolutely very well versed as owners, as team leaders, as big, massive team owners whatever. So we, we, uh, we understand that, that model very, very well. Um, I'm just look. I'm just, it's just becoming a big perspective right now. Anyways. Um, yeah, Rosie called me and, uh, and told me to watch this webinar and I'm like, I don't, whatever, like, leave me alone. Just like everybody here, right? Everybody's everybody, nobody wanted to learn about this. Nobody wanted to watch the, the videos. A lot of people didn't even watch the videos for months and months after they even, they even joined, which is weird. But anyways, um, I've been doing this for 25 years. Um, I started when I was 18 years old. Um, uh, got got thrown into the through the wolves really really quickly because I was the uh, I knew the owner of Prudential California Realty back in Chula Vista where Brent Gove and I grew up, um, literally in the same exact spot. Um, yeah, I, I got into real estate. I've been doing it all my my entire life. It's all that I know, and uh, and I know the ups and downs of it. Um, I've got over eighteen thousand transactions under my belt. I've built two KW offices. One is a team leader. One is an owner. Uh, it's been I was the number one agent for Realty One Group back in the day. But I think what's most important is I've, I've gone, I've sold hundreds and hundreds of homes a year. I've sold thousands of homes in my career and I've, I've lost everything twice. I foreclosed on all my properties in 2008, lost everything again. 
Like I've had two heart surgeries where I was incapacitated and couldn't produce. Um, so I understand that a health challenge can destroy your, your finance, your finances in real estate. And I understand that a, um, a crisis like, like this can, can destroy your company, your, your, your finances. So it's, it's very, it, to me, I'm very passionate about this, this residual model and having residual income for our lives, because I feel like one, we're not put on this planet to just sell another house. We're put on this planet to do something else. We all have a passion and a purpose. And I don't know what every one of yours is, but I want to support what that is, whatever it is. Um, so, so I believe we should, we should do what we need to do to, to, to sell all the houses we need to sell to make all the residuals we need to make so we can actually do what we're up put on this planet to do, which is serve others in some capacity. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just super excited to, to help all of you guys um, build this thing huge. Um, I don't ever want to talk about production. So if, if you want to talk about people about production, that's not me. Talk to Mike, you know, talk to, talk to Brent, talk to Rose, talk to Rick. If you want coaching, talk to Rick, if you want whatever. Like I, I just have no interest in that. I, my passion is the residual income. If you want to talk about that or have somebody excited about that model, and that's what they want to do with the XP, then I'm your man. So I, I will say this, even though you don't want to talk about production, we have a lot of different opinions as where our market is going, whether foreclosures are coming back in a small way, a big way, or when they're doing that, or if and when. Um, David has been my business partner in a foreclosure group called D DS Pros, Default Servicing Professionals. So in terms of if we do go into a deeper foreclosure market, anyone on the line who wants to talk foreclosures, how do you build it? That's not a topic for today, but David has a tremendous amount of experience and connections in the foreclosure side of the real estate industry. That yeah. Is now. Yeah, Jesse. Yeah, a lot. A lot of people in this group have a lot of connections right. in the foreclosure industry. But yes, um, yeah. That's the only time you'll ever talk about production. Is that's the only time. Yeah, that, that, that is that is the exception. Thank you, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so, so the format, by the way, guys, we got uh, two more people I want to go through in just a couple minutes each, and then we're going to hang out for the rest of the hour and just do Q and A. So, if you guys do have questions and things you want to know of these people, I know some some of you guys have to jump off shortly. I am recording this, so I'll put it out later. Um, if you do have to jump off. I understand we're right at the halfway, th at the half an hour mark. Um, so David, if, if you're sticking around, David, Rosie, Brent, anyone sticking around, you get to ask questions of our next gentleman. So again, just to picture the, in, who joined EXP first, Brent Gove sponsored Rick Jiha. Rick Jiha sponsored Rosie Rodriguez. Rosie sponsored David Golden, who was just talking. And then David sponsored Mike Bjorkman. Wave your hand, Mike Bjorkman. All right, so Mike has a lot of superpowers. I read his bio yesterday and thought, that's the greatest bio I've ever read. I wanna be that guy. So Mike has owned also multiple million dollar companies. He's been in real estate uh, since before fire was uh, tamed, right? According to his bio, he's actually been doing real estate longer than they had fire under control, sold thousands of houses. He owns a very successful property management company, a coaching company, uh, all sorts of things. Mike, where do you wanna start? What's your superpower in a couple minutes or less? Um, well. Thanks for doing this, Jesse. Um, good to see all these smiling, lovely family faces. Um, I, like you said, I got in the business in 91 and very similar to David, this is all I know. Uh, very similar to what Brent Gove said, I enthusiastically dominated every part of real estate that I went after. Um, I, I grew up from nothing, so I had to start with nothing. And it was either, you know, be finally financially free or get a real job. And I was working at Lens Crafters as a corporate person. I was a lab manager making eyeglasses and it was terrible. So I said, this is my one and only shot, right? So I made it work. So that was, we had the crash in 91, the earthquake in 94. Uh, we, I've been through every sort of market there is. And I've been really successful at every part of real estate, whether it was, you know, short sales, foreclosures, loan mods, or whether it was expired, you know, for sale by owners, door knocking open houses. And that's where the coach in me comes out, right? I, my passion is to help agents bypass all the BS that I went through, all the heartache I went through, all the learning that I went through. It's just so hard to be really good. But what I found out is when I first started coaching agents is I can, I can make them miss 10 years of heartache and hell, or if the market turns, I can fix them immediately. And I was like, wow, that's a really cool thing because nobody was there to help me. Right. I was at Remax for 19 years. That's kind of shut the door and do your own thing and figure it out on your own. Uh, luckily I was a seminar whore and I'd love to go to Mike Ferry and Craig Proctor and all that stuff that helped me out a lot. Um, and then when I went to Keller Williams, you know, I learned a lot about 
uh, team building. I learned about culture. I learned about managing. You know, I was lucky enough to speak at Family Reunion, Mega Camp, and all that cool stuff. Um, training agents was my passion. So the next progression was to open up a brokerage. I opened up a home smart franchise at the time was the best technologically advanced company there was. Well, I didn't know about eXp then. Nobody had the, you know, what's to call me and let me know about it. Um, so then I became the number one home smart agent in the world out of 30,000 agents. I grew that to 300 agents, four, and, four, and, four offices. And then, you know, I was like, doing very well with property management and coaching. And, you know, I, I had to, I, I had a, I had a call this morning with my team and I said, you know, do you guys believe your own BS? Like, do you look in the mirror and believe yourself? And do you, do you sometimes try to trick yourself? And, you know, if you don't believe in yourself, you know, energy is everything and everything's energy. And, and basically what happens is, you know, people can sense your BS because you're giving them negative vibes. Right. So, if you're not succeeding in this or any other market, that's probably why you're not believing in yourself first. So I had that talk with myself and I looked in the mirror one day after I kind of understood the EXP model and I said, I am literally gonna be out of business in the next three to five years if I don't participate in this model. And what made it absolutely mind blowing for me is we talk about it a lot, but we were able to partner with, you know, some of our best friends in the country that we've, we traveled with and hung out with for years and years, but we never got to physically align ourselves financially. And I think that's what makes our team, in my opinion, the most powerful experienced um, number one agent in the team, as far as people that love and care about their um, organization and will go out of their way. Like Rick said, he's, he's flown across the country for me personally. You know, Dave's taken bullets for me. You've taken bullets for me. Rosie, Brent, like all, everybody. It's just like, it's hard to believe. Like nobody can really understand and imagine the power, the love, the family, the, the things we're willing to do for each other. And every day I, I'm on my knees and I'm grateful. And I thank God for putting me in the position that he did. And uh, I thank God for being introduced to all you guys. And I just can't wait to change your lives individually if I can. And as a group, I know damn well we can do that. So together we can do anything. And I love you all. I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Well said, Mikey. All right. Um, I've got, we just have one more here. And Brent Gove, did you say, do you have, do you have to go? Do I want to make sure we, are, are you okay on time? Are you, oh, well, and you're on mute. Let me unmute you. Uh, you got to mute me on your side. I can't unmute you. Yeah, I thought I had 1130. It's actually 12. So I'm just sitting here enjoying this like everyone else. Awesome. All right, cool. So then, so let's introduce Brent Conley. And then those of you guys who are here, if, uh, if you're not on camera and you have questions, type them into your box. If you're on camera, we can unmute you. I just want to do some open Q&A, whether, whatever topics you want. Um, and, and Susan, yep, I'll come to you too. I got, I got something for you. So let's do Brent Conley. Then, or do you want to go now, Susan? You want to do Brent Conley first? Okay. All right. So Brent Conley. So again, in the coming down here, David Golden sponsored Mike Bjorkman. Mike Bjorkman sponsored Brent Conley. If you don't remember all the order, it doesn't matter because all these people are going to help you regardless. I'm telling you, this is the thing that blows my mind in terms of this company. They will all go out of their way to help you. But if it, sometimes people ask, okay, so how, how did, who sponsored, who has that work? If you're curious, that's why I keep repeating it. All right, so then Mike Bjorkman sponsored Brent Conley, who used to own two different brokerages, 400 plus agents did like 10,000 transactions or was it 18,000 transactions, a ridiculous amount of transactions. This man knows how to sell houses. He knows how to build organizations and he's probably one of the best business strategists. So Rosie was saying superpower business strategist, Brent as well, one of the best business strategists I know. So Brent, go ahead. What, what do you want to say to the, to the crew? Hi everybody. Hey, thanks for welcoming. Um, yeah, so I've owned multiple brokerages, um, but Solutions Real Estate was the, the largest success out of that. Started that in 2008, grew that in Arizona, 320 agents. Um, while I, I became the number one agent in Arizona for probably about six months, I ended up number three in 2011 with 750 transactions. Closed, also uh, we opened California in 2010, um, and then we grew that to 100 agents uh, here. Uh, in California. I live in Carlsbad, California, but I still do business in Arizona in, and uh, California. So um, I, I owned a couple other brokerages, owned one with my dad and all that stuff, and some of those didn't take off. Um, I've owned a property management company for 10 years in Arizona, um, and my partner runs that still to this day. I've owned escrow. Um, I used to own a transportation and logistics company, basically a trucking company. 
Um, I kind of grew up in that world as well. That's where I get industrial experience for real estate, leases, and, and kind of a lot of business experience. I was actually a distribution manager for the limited corporation um, through via the trucking company um, when I got out of high school and was running you know, freight and all that um, for a few years anyway. Um, but uh, so for you guys, I'm available. So this is what I love doing. Um, I love helping people grow their businesses. Um, I'm still active in real estate um, only because I choose to be because I really love selling real estate. Um, I like the hunt, right? And as soon as I get to the work and I, I, because I don't like doing all the paperwork stuff. So when I'm still active in, in real estate, that's what I mean, is I'll go get the business and then somebody else has got to do the business because I don't want to do the rest of that. Um, but for strategies for you guys, um, for talking to an individual agent um, to help them grow into a super agent, to help them grow into a small team, into a large team, into a, a mega team, into a company, um, I can help them do that. Um, and so that could be useful for everybody on the call um, as you're talking to people and kind of figure out what their need is. Um, I've identified a, a couple things that I probably should share here that a lot of people, if they need money now, they need coaching and training and our group is phenomenal for that. And if they are trying to build a residual income or a secondary income, a retirement income or get some of their bills taken care of, then we start talking about the EXP model for revenue share. Um, so write that down. That's probably helpful for you guys. But anyways, um, I am a business guy, so I like money. Um, I am a strategist. So if they're trying to figure out how to put a deal together, I'm really good at that because I've put to, together a ton of really, really good deals. I folded in brokerages to my company. I've sold the company to Century 21. Um, I've been flown all the way around the country uh, by Rheology and, um, and did meetings for them as they're whining and dining and doing all that stuff for selling a company. So I have the experience to help in that aspect and you know, taking listings or luxury listings, putting presentations together, stuff like that too. So, um, but I want just to build the revenue share. I believe in this company. I've never seen a company like this company. And I really believe um, that this thing is going to be a huge organization. It's a big organization now at 28,000 agents, but this is gonna be a huge organization at 200, 250, 300,000 agents. And you guys are still on the, the ground floor in my opinion. And I say that because there's no exit strategies that are worthy of anybody taking a look at in a real estate brokerage. Unless they have stock market money, unless they have opportunity like EXP provides, it's not going to happen. So um, I'm here for you. I flew to Toronto um, uh, earlier this year, spoke at uh, for our team in Toronto this year and with, I think there were seven of us um, for some of my, my um, downline there in um, Toronto, Canada. Everybody is doing it on their own dime. That's another thing that is just not out there for other businesses that we have access to. So I'm in Arizona quite often um, in the summertime, not so much because um, I'm three miles to the beach. So I'd rather stay in Carlsbad. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm here for you. Let me know. Uh, my superpower is probably strategy, uh, putting deals together um, and then just making friends because I've got a pretty big network and uh, I'm willing to help whoever. I love it. You've heard multiple people say, by the way, we'll get on a plane. We'll come fly to you to help you. I mean, take them up on this, guys. They'll get on planes. We'll get on Zoom. So, so Brent Conley is my direct sponsor. And again, if you, it doesn't matter. If you don't, don't worry about who your sponsor is or who's sponsored who. Just learn these people. Get to know them. Build relationships. They all are here to help. They are. I've got two people. Um, Darcy said you're all coming to Seattle. Absolutely. As soon as all of this uh, coronavirus stuff is done, we are absolutely coming back to Seattle. Um, I know Michael Henry, we were, going, we were actually about to come to Cleveland prior to all this starting. So that, that there's, there's no, believe me, we're coming back there. All right, so uh, two people have texted me. They said they wanna share something just 
a short, uh, something short about our, uh, our EXP support team here, and then think of questions you guys have for everyone. So Susan Johnson is a rock star out of Temecula, California, was a Keller Williams, another Keller Williams team leader, right? Incredible amount of experience, owned her own brokerage as well. Susan, what did you want to share? Okay, well, first of all, thanks again for having me today. Uh, yeah, so many past KW team leaders, and there is an extensive amount of experience we all learn, not only from recruiting, training, and consulting agents, and, and so that I think is all of our, our superpowers. But um, I, I wanted to, I'm probably one of the new, I don't know, I'm probably one of the newest people, I think I'm less than 60 days here with EXP, but um, I wanted to talk because A, I'm just, I'm pumped. I've already earned, you know, revenue share. I've already got stock, uh, you know, 20 years as a real estate agent, bro, you know, broker. I know, right? <laughs> and, uh, and with all the hundreds of agents I recruited with another company, you know, I, my profit share was like nothing. And I, this is just such an amazing opportunity. But I really wanted to do this um, testimonial more than anything. Um, in the fact that all these people that have just spoken, I mean, they really walk the talk. I mean, Jesse, you you know, you're there one quick phone call or text. Uh, Brent, of course, you know, Brett Conley. Uh, but I want to I want to take you even further people that are not like right my immediate direct uh, sponsors, my gosh, Brent Gove, I met in uh, Vegas and took time to, to inspire and talk to me. Mike Bjorkman, you're messaging me and talking to me, you know, every couple days. Uh, Rosie Rodriguez is always reaching out too. Um, I spent some time on the phone with David Golden, uh, you know, I mean, they took just to talk to me. I wasn't 25 people. I felt very special that, you know, he would actually take his time, spend time to help me, uh, you know, get, get growth going and, um, you know, just to spend time with me. Uh, Jean Frederick, I, I, we haven't brought Jean's name up, but uh, Jean, I, I, I sent a message just because of my, my new married name is Cronin. So Susan Cronin, his wife is <laughs> Susan Cronin Frederick. Uh, I thought I'd reach out to him and I'm thinking maybe he'd give me a 10 minute phone call. We had to spend at least an hour and a half together just one-on-one -on, -one on the phone. I mean, these people, everybody's saying, oh, I'm here to help you. They really are. So if you're just listening in on this call, uh, I myself included, I know as leaders, we do often say, hey, you know, give us a call. And so few people take you up on that. You know, I will take you up on that, as you can see. Um, but um, I do encourage everybody to to reach out because um, the superpowers, I just I love that term. Uh, we do. We all have our strengths and ways we can really help each other. And, you know, when they say that no one succeeds alone, it's it's true. You don't, which is why I don't like being on my own island. I love to reach out to you guys. And and so I'm excited to be here and, and part of the, the team. And please reach out to me, too. I teach contracts. I teach the RPA for the Board of Realtors. So I can help in that area as well as, of course, I'm Tony Robbins trained. So I a lot of I love it. I think we're, we're losing your audio at the end a little bit, Susan, but I love your energy and passion and excitement. Seriously, I mean, and that's, I wanted, I'm glad you said that because I want people here who are listening who might not know some of these people who spoke, seriously, reach out. Like, it, it does take you to help build that relationship as well, but they want to, they want to build relationships. Dave, I see you nodding your head. Dave Robles, you, you had something you want to share also, right? Um, yeah, totally. Thank, thanks, Jesse. So, you know, I joined EXP because of the like 12 year relationship I've had with like Jesse and Brent and Golden uh, and Bjorkman. Um, and, uh, you know, yeah, that got me in. But one year ago, like recently, I was in, just two weeks into this into EXP and I was going to Orlando for the shareholder event. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to text this dude named Brent Gobe and Rick Jiha and just see if they'll sit down with me for five minutes. Do you remember this, Brent? So I text him. He's like, sure, let's do lunch. So we sat there at lunch in Orlando for two hours, you know, and just chatted about EXP. And it was just such a wealth of information. So and I just wanted to know the people that were above me, you know, in the upper upper line. And I just want to do that. Reach out to the people that, that you don't know, that you just kind of like, and I'm so glad Jesse's doing this today, because just be familiar with the people that, that are above you in, in EXP. So they've done it already. You know, they've already done it. And I've had lunch and learns here in LA and Golden's come and Bjorkman and Brent and Jesse and, and the support I get from the people that are right above me is, is tremendous. And I only hope that I can be as good of a support provider as the people above the, the me above me a bit. Uh, so thanks to everybody, you know, that that is above me and on this call. But thank you, Jess. 
Absolutely. And, and when he says above you, because really my mind works that way too. Some of these people who are quote unquote above you might have more experience or less experience in selling houses, right? That's why I want you to know where, where they flow because you can call that your business partner. They could be a coach or a mentor if there's someone that has more experience. Maybe you have more experience than them, but they've been in EXP longer and maybe they can help you agent attraction. Maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe oh. just in terms of, go ahead. Totally, totally. It, oh, oh, and, you, and you mentioned, I wanted to mention superpower real quick. We just did webinars, buyer and seller webinars recently, where like 108 people have registered and we had really killer lead generating seller and buyer webinars. So I think from, uh, that's something that I definitely have to offer. If you'd like to know more about that, feel free to reach, reach out to me. Let's talk to your teams about it. But there is definitely heavy lead generating ab ability in webinars right now yeah. that the open house in the future. Cool. I, I love it. And you can go, by the way, uh, I just got a text from Megan who pointed out, it doesn't have to be up. You could go sideways, down, across the company. That's the brilliant thing about this company is everyone's open to helping everybody. I want you to know Elp because there is a, a more direct financial incentive typically in Up, which is why people go that way. But there's still an incentive to all of us that a rising tides raises all ships. Go sideways. Ask anybody. Like There's, there's a group that, that talk all the time. I love it. Um, we do have I a- like I wanted to say something on that because yeah. it's been mentioned a few times. And um, I know Dave, Dave Robles, we met at the, uh, the mastermind that we did in Temecula at the wine winery where we had John right. Cheplak come out. And um, something interesting that has been shared a few times is that um, I think what's beautiful and unique about our organization is, I mean, look at everybody who's speaking and how giving and loving, and, you know, we're just, you know, I just feel like everybody's really um, outward focused. And what John shared with me uh, privately was that um, he just loved the fact that like we had such a powerful group. And one of the signs of that is that if you walk into a room and you don't, you cannot point out the leader, you know, it could be a number of different people. You've got a very flat organization and those grow like rapid fire. And that's because everybody's collaborating with each other. You know, the egos aren't out of the, you know, and trying to figure out who's the best, who's the brightest, who's the leader. It's just everybody works together. And I am just incredibly blessed that I'm part of those leaders, you know, and it's not whether what order I'm in or under whatever, everybody has a superpower and everybody does truly collaborate up and down across, you know. And uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, like that was pointed out to me and I'll share it in confidence and he shared it in confidence with me, just looking at different organizations, but that's something that's very unique about our group. and. And, and I love that, that that is, you know, what we are. Yeah, Rosie's another one that I reached out to, expecting a, a 10 minute conversation. And we sat in her office for two hours having, having coffee and uh, just broke it down to me on the stuff that I, you know, and she, held, she didn't hold any punches too. She's like, this is what you're doing wrong. You know, I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I love I it. I love it. All right, so we've got a couple of people asking about stock in the chat. So uh, Mel Parsons asked, she's been getting asked questions about stock. Who do we know who's really knowledgeable on stock? Um, David's raising his hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, first of all, David, I'll come to you, but there's a really great recorded webinar that I will send you from one of the in-person EXP events. That was probably the best 20 minutes or 25 minutes that broke down the financials of the company. It was fantastic. So those of you who actually wanna learn and go deep, I'll send a link out to that. But David, go ahead. What, what, are you gonna, what do you wanna share on stock? I was exactly gonna say that. I was gonna say the, the smartest person I know about stock is Kevin Cottrell. And that's the video. That's the person who recorded the video. Um, so I just connected Kevin with Mel on, uh, on, on a text. So if you guys want to connect with him, he's happy to. That's, to talk to that's the video right there. I just put in the chat. Perfect. Yeah. Thank yeah. I yeah love watch the video. And if you have more questions after that, you feel free to contact Kevin Cottrell. I'll give you guys his number. He's, he's, been, he's phenomenal and he's not even part of our organization, but he will absolutely help all you guys. Yeah. And if you guys, by the way, after you watch that video, if you're not pumped about the financials of this company, I challenge you to watch it again. Cause I, I mean, I'm not, I was never, yeah, yeah. The stock, as soon as I saw this, I was like, wow, this company is amazing in terms of financials. It's fantastic. All right. What other questions do we have for the group? We got a few more minutes at the top of the hour. We got questions for Brent Go, Rosie, Mike Bjorkman, Brent Conley, David. Jesse, I feel like jumping in real quick. If you like it. Yeah. I can, I can hardly ever get an audience. It's awesome. All to listen at one time. One of the successes that I've learned from this company and watching, uh, one of the lessons I've learned from watching successful people at this company is um, getting your 
your team and your organization to really plug in. And we're all super high I, super high D for the most part. We don't want to research a bunch of crap. We don't want to, you know, we don't want to do a lot. We just want to start making money. But I'll tell you right now, since I started learning about what this company truly offers, how to present it, and understanding KV Core and understanding, I mean, we don't have to be rocket scientists with everything, but when you properly know, like somebody asked about stock in two seconds, I, I, I copy and paste the video link, right? That could change Mel's life just because I paid attention and flew to Vegas when Brent invited us to go. Like all these things are a domino effect. So the more that you plug in and, and teach yourself and really truly understand every aspect of this company, it's only gonna help your team and your organization grow. It's, you can't just say, oh, I'm just gonna go for it, right? You have to spend an hour a day at least on skill set, go to the classes, learn the world, learn every bit of enterprise and truly understand it. So when your organization needs help, it, it, trust me, guys, it only takes a few times for people to say, what about this? And what about that? What about this? And when you don't answer, they don't come to you anymore. Eventually they burn out, your retention is gone and they leave. So I would say, get your butts in gear and really understand and plug into the system because you don't know why somebody else is coming to the company. It could be as simple as I want to learn KV core. And if you don't have at least the knowledge to explain that to somebody, you're just, you're just hurting yourself in the long run. Sometimes like I'm blown away at the people that don't know where to find the marketing center or the educational calendar. There's people on this call that probably don't even know about the bot in the chat called expert. There's probably people that don't even know there's a, a chat that the public can do when they need help resetting their password at, on the Explorer website. Like there's little things that you learn every single day. <laughs> Christine. <laughs> I mean, like, seriously, you guys, if you want this company to work for you, you got to work a little bit for it. And there's so much to take advantage of, so many classes, so many, so many different things that it, I've, I've watched it make a difference in people's lives and in my life and the organization. I've personally helped recruit over 200 people to my organization. And you learn a lot by doing that. Like, oh my God, who would have thought you would ever give a crap about blank? But they do, and it's the reason they come, it's the reason they stay, and all those little things add up. So I just beg you guys, please plug in, understand what the company is, does, what it has to offer. Don't be selfish, because you don't care about it doesn't mean your organization doesn't care about it. And that's how we're gonna build and grow and take over this planet. And the more lazy we are, it's, it's not gonna work. Go ahead, Brent. Yeah, as I was just gonna say, I wanna come to Brent to wrap this up. So, so um, if I'm gonna hang out here as long as people have questions, guys. Anyone else who wants to hang, but I do wanna be respectful of everyone's time. So Brent, if you wanna think of what you wanna add and, and wrap this up, if you want any of these people, by the way, to speak to your team, speak at an event, reach out. They're great for someone said, I'm gonna have someone come speak at an event, please let's have them come speak. Go ahead, Brent. Actually photographing the participant list and I go, oh my gosh, and um, I knew Brent Conley was a stud, but I didn't realize what a stud you were, man. I honestly learned a lot about you and Susan, you're amazing. And, and Dave Robles, I've gotten a chance to get to know some of you. Ryan, I am not a myth. I'm not a vapor, baby. I'm coming for you. I don't know where you are, but you and me, we're talking. So, um, but I do want to say this, um, you know, I don't know if you've noticed a lot of companies, uh, Progressive, Allstate, Ford, um, even Regis, I'm in my office here at Regis. My family's sick of me after 40 days at home. They booted me. You're like, you're all loud and getting on those Zooms and getting all animated. Go, you got to go, Dad. And so I have, I have uh, five kids. We adopted two. There's seven. I do have a big house, but I'm too loud. They have evicted me from my own home. So I'm down here at the office. But even Regis cut rents in half. People are doing that for COVID relief. So I've talked to Dave Knord, the president of EXP, and Jason Gessinger, CEO, about let's come up with the COVID-19 relief package for agents that EXP is doing, Safe Harbor. So there's a board meeting today where um, I'm just telling you, they're considering uh, for the next, uh, I'm just, this is a good rumor I'm starting. They may get shoot it down, so I shouldn't say this, but they're considering uh, no sign-up fees, no 149, doing away for the $85 monthly fees for four months, um, and a bunch of other stuff that's way better than that. But I don't know if the board is going to shoot it down or up. So I won't go past that. I think they'll do that. But it's just kind of like, let's remove any roadblocks for anybody and say, come on over to the safe harbor 
eXp, now here's something really cool I'll let you in on. Um, I know we have eXp agents here and I think we have some guests on here. Nod your head, Jesse. We have guests too, um, both. We have everything. So. Um, um, no, but mostly eXp, no, they're mostly people who are already at eXp. Okay, good. I wasn't yep. sure. No, no, no. It, no, they're at eXp. Yep, these are all eXp peeps. So if you're talking to a, um, I was talking to a Keller Williams agent, for example, he does 6 million a year. He's double capper, not this, you know, big giant guy, well, ball player, but a double capper. And I couldn't get him off the fence. He's right there, right there, right there. And he turned 70 this year. Wonderful guy. He's the energy of like a 35 year old, looks like a 35, he's maybe 70. And I said, what are you doing for your retirement, man? It's coming. And if COVID comes back next winter, you need to squirrel money away. So I said, if I would you use that verb, if I could do this with you, I said, if I could get rid of the 20% for the next half a year, instead of giving Keller Williams 36% of your check, you score away cash all summer, all fall. So you have money in the bank for next winter. You can give it to Keller Williams so you can put it in your account. If, if I could get you that deal, would you move like now? And, and I'm not saying to lead with that. You should not lead with that. But if you've got somebody you can't jar them off the fence, he goes, well, the COVID pandemic is, if, if I got eight months, I think I'd do it. So I said, I don't know if I get you eight. I don't even know if I get you six, but let me check. Here's a secret word. Everyone write it down. Two, two secret words. Chris Bear, Vice President of EXP Growth, and Sam Rodriguez. Those two guys will pull rabbits out of a hat. So I go to Chris. He laughed at me because I can't get you I can't get you eight. I go, come on, Chris, seven. Don't let Remax get him. Do not let Remax kick your butt. And he gave me seven months at 100%, which is till November 1st. And wow. my guy is parked four doors down. He's got an office here. He was at Keller Williams last week. You know what he was doing yesterday? Calling all his friends at Keller Williams and around town and adding agents. So you think, well, we're not going to make any money on him for seven months. Are you crazy? Um, Courtney... Uh, um, Atkinson up in Alberta, Canada, is 350 deals a year. We got him a 100% deal for half a year. And then EXP will even take the 20% that's paid into them and they'll refund like 40, 50 grand to the, the agent. I'm telling you, there's some crazy growth stuff we could do right now. And um, it's almost like a year at 100%. And it, his, they think, well, we're not making any money on Courtney for a year. Want to bet? Courtney in the last three weeks signed up four cappers. He's got four more going through the process right now. By the end of next week, his first four weeks, he's brought on eight cappers. Eight times 16,000, you do the math. It's 100 and whatever that is, 44, I can't even do the math, whatever it is. Um, it's a, and that's his first month. Courtney will bring a million dollars worth of revenue to eXp this year. So do not think that we're not gonna make money. And then here's the other cool thing. You think, yeah, but if I bring on somebody at 100%, they don't count as an FLQA. Yes, they do. Jay Kinder did not know this two weeks ago. You may not know this. Even if they're at 100%, they're going to count as an FLQA on your front line. They still got to pay $25 broker review fee. They still got to pay the 40 e and capped at 500. And then EXP gets a 250 per transaction fee. Like, oh, that's a lot of money, 250. Not if you're paying 20% to your broker or in my Keller Williams friend who was just in my office a second ago, 36%. 36% of that commission are 250. 25 and 40 bucks. The choice is yours. He's like, there's no decision. It's what it took to get him off the fence, but now he's recruiting agents. He's excited. So what I'm telling you right now for the next 60 days, we are, we, and this isn't official, it hasn't been announced yet, and it may not happen. But what I'm telling you, even if they don't come out with it officially, get on the phone with Chris Bear. Write that name down, Vice President of Growth. He, you can find him in Workplace or Sam Rodriguez, they can pull rabbits out of a hat. We could do stuff you never dreamed of right now. We're throwing gasoline on the fire. You wanna build uh, you know, one big fire, you wanna build a huge rev share? Think the word no should not exist in your, there's gotta be a way, under, over, around, through, we're gonna figure it out. So um, don't say Brinko promised, you'll do that. I'm like, I never <laughs> talked to him because personally I'm on the Zoom, I didn't talk to you. <laughs> I will deny it, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we can get 80, 100, 200, 300, 400 agent brokerages, independents over now and offer them deals that have never been because we're doing this pandemic relief. Let's grow like heck. We are the safe harbor. And so it's pretty cool. <laughs> so if anyone have a question, by the way, the LOIs are powerful. You're not using them like you should. I just signed up a general manager for Land Rover, Range Rover. 
He's got a cool accent and then his best friend in, in the UK, they know nothing about real estate, but they're both getting their licenses in the next 90 to 120 days, but they've been signing up real estate agents. Boom, 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 boom. They're signing up real estate agents because they make four to 500,000 years general managers of Range Rover, Land Rover. They're bad, I'm gonna say it. Boop, I can't do it. Okay, badass. They're, Mike, I did it for you, Mike Bjorkman. They are badass mothers and, and they, they have skills and they have cool English accents. We're all dumb Americans. We have no interesting <laughs> accents. Well, like this is uh, Mike Davis with, uh, you know, whatever. And they, they're interesting to talk to. They're smart. They got mad social skills. They're killing it right now. Like you could sign them up to not tomorrow and they could be adding agents because they know people. So you should not be thinking of agents and brokers only. You should be thinking about entrepreneurs who have mad social skills and cojones. Mike Bjorkman said earlier, no one had the, you know what I'm talking about. He was talking about cojones, okay, coconuts. He was talking about kahutspa. And, and these guys, I'm telling you, there are people, men and women, there are women with cojones. I didn't know if you know this, but it's true. And, and they, <laughs> okay, I'm getting crazy here. But here's the deal. The point is they, they got some kahutspa. I think that's an Israeli word or something, Jewish or something. But here's the deal. They're willing to do what it takes. And, and so you could reach out to them. They could join. And they're, they're like team leaders at Keller Williams. I was forbid to sell homes at Keller Williams. They wanted me to recruit. So you got recruiters out there. You know them. They're friends of yours. These are friends of mine. And now they're signing up agents like crazy, like the next day. They'll get licensed in 90 to 100 to 100 days. And then once they're licensed, they can have revenue share and all the other benefits that go with it. They are so excited. So don't forget about the power of an LOI. Get creative. You're not sure what I'm talking about. Reach out to me. Reach out to Rosie and Rick Jiha and David Golden and the whole team. And um, time to throw gas on your fire. We are going to three, 400,000 agents. I think we're going to 400,000. Look what Keller did with people who owned nothing. Well, they own franchises. That was 1% of that movement, 1%. Everybody else owned diddly squat and nothing. And look what they did. And with profit share, which is you send someone to Portland, you sell 70 homes a year. If that franchise isn't profitable, they get nothing. Look what they yeah. did with, the, with that. And it was basically all culture. We've got the culture. It's right here. Then we throw in the ownership piece with the stock and the revenue share. I mean, AJ this month, made, uh, just, he lives in the crib, he made $80,000 this month. That's his monthly just <laughs> coming in. That's AJ and Abby. I mean, it's just, it's pretty crazy. I know people um, made over 100,000 this month. Um, you know, my story, when my rev share hit 100,000, I'm like, I'm never listing another house. And that was two years ago. I've never listed a house. So man, we're excited about you guys. We believe you. I'm so impressed with everybody on this call. And final thought, and I'll do any Q&A one wants. Um, but, um, oh, oh, anyways, my, um, here's the deal. August 26th and 27th and 28th, Dallas, it's happening. It has not been canceled. Um, all the conventions are hitting in August. We're the end of August, and people are going to have pent up energy. Want to get away? Come to Dallas. Hang out with Tony Robbins. Watch Tony Robbins speak after he hasn't spoken for five months when he's been speaking his whole life. He will rip his pulls off his hair out of his hair. He's going to beat on his chest. It's going to be amazing. It's science and psychology. It's not all motivation. You never heard him speak. He's incredible. We paid $350,000 to get him there. Quarter of a million for three hours. And I think he's going to go for eight. He's going to be so much to share after all this. And, and I had to pay another 100000 for his jet and his pilots and the security detail. It is crazy. Don't miss it. It's $197. It's going to sell out. And uh, we're just desperately trying to, I think we can have 10,000 people there easily. It could be bigger than any family reunion Keller Williams ever had. And we literally don't have the space. We're begging, we're scratching for space. It's going to be crazy. We're going to get creative, but I wouldn't be surprised if, if it's just going to be amazing. So I'm done, Jesse. That's all I wanted to throw out there. A little food for thought, gas for the fire. I always love a good cookout. I love it, dude. I just love the passion, the energy. Thank you, Brett. You hear people on mute. All, everybody's clapping for you on, on mute, but seriously, it's, Every time I get to feel some of that energy, you can feel it coming through Zoom. It's no surprise. How big is your revenue share group now, Brent? What, what is it? What are we up to? We're over 10,000 in the organization now, yeah. 
So he, 7, he's out in four or 500 in my seven levels. We have people on levels eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And they're part of the team too. I'll work my tail off for some on level 12 because it motivates everyone behind them. And that's all good for everyone. Build a fire in the basement. Yeah. Um, Matthew Hanks just said, need more details on the Dallas event. I will post a link, Matthew. It's, uh, it is the, it's on Brent Cove Resources, right? Yes, was, yes. Yes. So if you guys have never gone to that site, brentgoveresources.com, I'll put a direct link to the Dallas event, though. It is a fantastic event. I would highly recommend that we all get there, get there, because I found that the most successful people are the ones that plug in and show up right? Keep plugging in. We do this call every Thursday, by the way. It's not quite like this every Thursday, but every Thursday, 11 a.m., uh, Mike Bjorkman, me, Brent Connolly, David, various people, we kind of rotate through and we jump into the mechanics of agent attraction. So Brent Gove, maybe one Thursday, I'll have you come on a guest and just spend the whole, you know, spend 30 minutes or an hour. We'll just have people ask you or any specific person will answer Great. questions. All right. I love it. Uh, if anyone else wants to hang out for a bit, I'm literally, we have enough people here. I want to be respectful. We're at the top of the hour, whatever time zone you're in. This is the, the meat of the call, but I'm going to hang out and answer Q&A questions. If anyone else wants to hang out for a bit, um, I just want to say thank you to each of our panelists. Seriously, guys, this was awesome. Really, really, really appreciate getting everyone on the same call. And just the power we have here is incredible. My 12 o'clock rescheduled too while I was on here. So I'm going to hang out for five or 10 minutes. <laughs> I, lo I love social people. Me. <laughs> None of us want to leave the party, right? All right. right. So this call is actually fun. <laughs> right? This call is way fun. <laughs> we got a lot of people typing in thank yous. Yes. You, and thank yeah. you to you guys. Thanks to everyone who joined in. Seriously. There, even though that, like, that's why I want this to be the support team. There's no leaders and people who are like, everyone in this company is a leader. You are all important. It's, I cannot say that enough. It could easily be another seven people we picked that were the panelists for this one. I just had to pick some. You guys are all amazingly powerful people. All right, questions. What's what do we got, website, guys? Jesse, what's our website for the agent attraction? Titaniumagents.com? I don't even know. Is it live? Somebody check that. Yeah. I'm going to check it. Titaniumagents.com. Somebody check it. I'm checking it. Hey, while he's checking it, if you go to brentgoresources.com and you click on agent attraction, there is a 90 minute webinar there under webinars done by Rob Flick and phenomenal. Rob makes like 548000 a month over a million dollars every 60 days in rev share. He's the most successful guy at our company. And um, he shot it like a year, year and a half ago, but the principles are the same. I've copied him verbatim and it's paid off in spades for me. Watch the Rob Flick training video at brinkoveresources.com uh, .com, .com, under agent attraction. And then it's gonna ask you webinars, click on webinars, you'll see Rob Flick 90 minutes. He's got a little 30 minute one, which is good. The 90 minute is outstanding. It was shot in Sacramento. We paid big bucks to film it, record it. Amazing stuff. Yeah, that, yeah. I'll, I'll agree with that too, Brent. That's, and in fact, that's the, vid, that's the presentation that he was doing in Mexico when I turned to Rosie and just started crying like a little baby and was like, you, you know, I have no idea what you've done for me and my family. Like that was, that was the moment that I was like, <sighs> like just overwhelmed. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. it. I've seen it probably 10 times. Yep. I remember, for those of you watching, there's a lot of people on here. I remember when Dave, Rosie got me on the phone with David, and I'm in, the, I'm in a mortgage bank. I just done the ASP Lunch and Learn, and I get on the phone with Dave, and I'm like, Dave, I will never forget that. I was going to drive home. I just pulled over and parked and sat there and idled for an hour in my car. I'm like, oh, baby, this guy, David Golden, he is golden delicious, my nickname for him. And I knew you were going to go big things. I, I remember this like right now. That was just a cool moment. I hung up from that and drove home like this. I just had a grin on my face. I'm like, Rosie found a runner. And it only takes one, you guys. It only takes one. And then you have 24 next to them and you get paid so much income. You literally only need one. Yeah, and then you, you really do. want to make you money. Do. I I, 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 for me, that one was, was Mike Bjorkman. Like I, after Mike joined, it was like, like just game over. Like there's no way I could even stop this thing. Yep. You're always one agent away from complete and total financial freedom. Just know that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, Mike just typed in the chat, by the way, guys, a few other, well, we have all this big group here. Um, make sure you join the EXP Facebook group, uh, the Facebook group EXP Pros, where we post a lot of these things and interact there. Um, that website Mike was talking about, Titanium Agents, is live. It's the recording of all these podcasts. But we don't promote this podcast. It's just for an internal use. It's for, it's for, for you guys. If you want to go back and listen to anything on, um, on Agent Attraction, you can listen to this call, all that good stuff.
What other questions we have? People want to share stuff. I like our mascot there with Megan. Nice mascot, <laughs> Megan. Who is that cute little guy? What's his name? Elijah. You say hi. So <laughs> I we love it. For a nap, so we're a little cranky. <laughs> Put his face up in the screen. I want to see that face again. I yeah, love the little. Get out of it. I'll get out of it. There you go. Look at that. He's so cute. Good job, Megan. And, and by yeah. the. And by the way, someone just texted me and said, I'm going to be your one. You know what? Guess what? Go out and find your one. And then that's how you become that person. Seriously. It's just, you go out and find one person who's, the, who's a, a runner, who's ready to hit it and just support them. Get them all your love and attention. That's it. I love it. All right. What, what else we got? Anyone else want to share? Don, are you talking? Oh, you're not talking. That's Don. I see his mouth moving, but I think he's on, on mute. Susan, you got something? You know, yeah, I do actually. So yeah, I want to be, I want to get out there and get a whole lot more going on here. We've already got some great people joining us, but Rosie Rodriguez, I'm going to bring you up again. Are you there? Can she hear me? I'm here. I can hear you. Okay. So um, one of the really cool things, because um, I, I met with a lot of people before, you know, we came over here, but when I went to Vegas, that one Vegas, remember after everybody was done, I said, Rosie, after all this, I still don't get the numbers. And you know, I'm, especially being from Keller Williams, we always want to understand the numbers. And she spent some time just really drilling down and showing me how the numbers worked. And I, I wonder how many people are missing that because I'll tell you, when she did that to me, this light bulb came on. And I think that, um, you know, I just want to make sure that we are taking the time and explaining to people really how it does work. Because we all talk about, yay, we've you know got revenue share coming in, we've got stock, but you know, how did you get there? What do the numbers look like, and how do you make them happen? And I think when people have that understanding, um, you know, it really again, thanks, Rosie. It was a great, great way you explained that. So I've duplicated that when I'm talking to people, and that's how I'm sharing it. Um, Dave Golden, yeah, you sent me that uh, same link for that. Um, was it Rob? I, so I've watched that video a few times too. It was fantastic. So thanks for that share as well. So you guys are great. And, and uh, this, this is every Thursday. Is that right, Jesse? Every Thursday, 11 a.m. California, 2 p.m. Eastern. We do eight, the link is aafaststart.com. We usually focus on a different topic or, or just open Q&A on agent attraction. If there's interest in doing other masterminds guys around on selling houses, increasing production, we can start putting together any sort of masterminds. I'm just part of a number of different groups where we've got masterminds coming out of the, out of our ears already. And the last thing I needed was another mastermind. But if you guys want specific, like this group's amazing. If we want to do specific masterminds on topics outside of agent attraction, I've hosted masterminds for the last 10 years in various groups. I'm happy to host anything. Uh, David's asking, by the way, Brent Gove, what's the best way for people to connect with you? Cell number. I know it's not e Go ahead, you're on mute. Hold on. You got to unmute yourself, Brent. I'm text only. People instant messaging me. I get them a month later. I am as not instant. Email, I'll never see it. I will never see it. Um, so text me. My cell phone's 916-223-5555. Someone can put it in the chat bar.